Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about the Virtual Sheet Music Playground. This is a new software tool we have published on our website a few months ago, which is going to help you a great deal in the music preparation. What I mean is that you can actually import your own music uh, through a music XML file or uh, through a PDF or an image, or you can also take a picture with your phone if you want to. And once the music is inside, you can edit it, you can transpose it, you can change instruments, and uh, you can also play the music, uh, change the tempo, and do a lot of stuff. Uh, so this video is really going to be just an overview of the system and uh, keep in mind that the, 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 the software is continuously updated with new features and new abilities. So make sure to subscribe to our mailing list to stay updated at the link right here. Um, so let's just dive right in. You can reach the playground by going to virtualshimizu.com slash playground or from the home page by clicking on the big banner which is currently showcased or uh, going under the free stuff menu and choosing online music editor. You can also scroll down the page until you find the more resources section and click the playground button. Once you get there, you'll be shown all the information about the new playground and how it works with a couple of videos showcasing its uh, main features. What is interesting, you can also access the playground from within um, Virtual Sheet Music Edition item. For example, if we select this item, um, you can find the opening playground button right here to open the music inside the playground. And if an item is not enabled for the playground yet, you will find that this button instead uh, where you can submit your request to enable the item for the playground. And of course, we plan to allow the use of the playground for the rest of the repertoire, such as the pop music from a Leonard, so that even this kind of uh, music can be edited inside the playground. But let's jump right into the playground and see how it works. So if you go uh, inside the playground dedicated page and you click the access the playground button, the playground will open. And from here you can find a few um, showcased pieces that you can select at the top. Uh, let's try this one for string quartet. And from here you can see how the playground is organized. You have this top control panel which allows you to do several different operations on the sheet music. Uh, you have the display controls right here. You have the instrumental controls right here which allows you to transpose and change instruments. And you have these main uh, buttons here that allows you to start over, import your own music XML files or uh, um, import music from PDF files or images. You can, of course, export your music as a music XML file and uh, save uh, your music as a PDF file or print it out. And if a piece of music is in our catalog, you can also buy it uh, by adding it to your cart. And uh, finally, you find these two big buttons where uh, the first one allows you to provide feedback. The second one is to become a member if you want to, because some functions may be limited if you are not a member. And of course, you also have this big main switch, which allows you to switch between editor and player. I'm going to show you uh, later on in this video um, what the player mode uh, allows you to do. And uh, recently we have um, released uh, the ability to um, edit the text on the score. So you can just click on the text, you can modify, you can, um, you can also delete it if you want to, the um, instrument names. Uh, you can also change the dynamics if you want to. You can also add text if you if you like. So uh, just select the text you want to add and uh, you can do it. And you can also remove the slurs or the ties if you want to. So it's pretty handy and it's, it's going to get uh, new features all the time. So 
make sure to check on the playground page for new updates and of course to sign up for our our newsletter anyway the beautiful thing about the playground is that it can be used inside any kind of device because it's browser based uh, so you can use it on your tablet or your phone even though on the phone of course with a small screen uh, it's hard to handle but um, we are working on an optimized version for uh, iPhones as well. Okay, let's try to log in and see what you can do without any limitations. Okay, I'm logged as a member now, so I'm going to select again the String Quartet demo. So you can see you have this um, sheet music displayed, for which you can easily change the zoom level if you want to. So you just go on the slider here, you can change the zoom level as you like. Um, you can also change the pagin pagination if you want to. If you want uh, to have a, a US letter portrait, you can choose that. If you want to have a landscape, you can choose that. Or A4 landscape, you can choose that. That's, um, that's something, of course, uh, need to be managed by yourself. If you choose a landscape format, you want to change the zoom level in order to maximize uh, the use of the real estate on the page at your disposal. What's mostly interesting about the playground uh, about pagination, you can easily change the, the size of the page by dragging the right handlebar right here and you can see how the music gets resize automatically for you so you can really play around with any kind of pagination you would like to have that's mostly about the display control you can also set the auto width which takes the whole screen at your disposal um, which may be useful for some people moving to instrumental controls panel you can easily change the transposition of the piece. For example, this piece in G major, and I want to change in A major, I just select A major and the piece gets transposed automatically for you. And uh, even better, you can also change instruments. For example, this is a string quartet. And let's say I want to put a flute in place of the first violin. So I'm going to open the instrument uh, um, panel I'm going to select the, the pop-up menu uh, corresponding to the violin first and then I choose flute and then I click done and you will see now you have you have the flute selected here. What is beautiful is the flexibility of this system uh, which allows you to do uh, really interesting uh, things. For example, if I want to remove the violin second, the second violin, or even just display just the flute part we have just created, you can just uncheck these parts and uh, the flute part only is displayed. You can zoom it in a little bit if you want to and then you are ready to, to print the, um, the flute part only. And then you, if you want to display again the whole full score, you just do that and the full score displayed again. Very flexible. So um, also, for example, let's say we want to change the cello part to another viola part. So I'm going to uh, select uh, this pop-up menu, change it to viola. And then if you see it, the viola is going to be too too low. So I'm going to um, change the octave to put it one octave higher so that the viola part can be playable. And uh, let me tell you this, this is a kind of a dumb system to change instruments because it doesn't take into account the range on the instruments. Uh, but we are working on a new smarter uh, kind of a system where you can change instruments and uh, is going to rearrange the, the instrument part in order to be kept inside the, the correct range of the instrument. So stay tuned for that. Okay, uh, let's look at the player uh, section of this uh, playground. So we're gonna switch on the player. And uh, as you can see, uh, something has been changed in the panel. So you can still have the transposition control, the instrumental control. You still have display controls, but this section has changed to allow playback. So you can play the music 
Um, okay, should, should we start it from the beginning? You see, it's gonna play the music. You can decide if you want to follow the the, the, the course or or not. Of course, you can you can define where you want to start playing the music, and uh, and you can also change the tempo. So if you play, change the tempo to speed it up or slow it down. And this is very interesting because you can use this for playing along and for practice, because from this panel you can also change. Um, actually mute the instruments you want to mute. Um, for example, I want to I wanna, um, practice the flute part, so I'm going to mute the flute part and uh, the playground is going to play just the other parts so I can play along. Of course you can also control the, the volume of the instruments, so if you want to lower them, you can lower. This is very, very useful. For now, the sounds are uh, certainly just, you know, synthesized sounds, not very high quality, even to reduce the impact on the web browser. But we plan to allow higher quality samples um, in the near future, uh, at least for the most powerful devices. And the last little tip about the playground is to click on this small arrow at the top right, right here, to close the panel so you can use more of your computer or device display. Okay, so uh, that's it about this overview of the playground. Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts about it, so make sure to click on the feedback button and report your feedback. You can post questions, requests, feature requests, or anything you can think of. Uh, we'll will get back to you uh, very, very instantly. Um, um, so stay tuned because the, the playground is a work in progress. And uh, I recommend checking the import feature, which is very interesting. Still in development, it's not perfect yet. So expect some uh, uh, mistakes when you import, for example, PDF files or images. But it works perfectly if you import uh, uh, music XML files. Okay, so what do you think about this new tool? Um, you know, I'm really eager to know your thoughts. If you have any suggestions, or ideas, uh, go and try it at the link um, I provided before. Or, you know, I'm, the link you can see here again. And uh, let me know your thoughts. You can post your comments um, on, the, on the page of the, of the playground. Or you can, as always, send an email to tipsandinsights at virtualsimus.com. I'll love to get in touch with you. And so we are done for today and I'll see you in the next one.